STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. Filling up a container with water and then putting alka seltzer in there, the more fuel you put in, the more um, the higher the, yeah. the top will go. I really like the really clickers. The yeah, clickers, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like awesome. Yeah, like so, so my name is Catherine Stair. I'm the principal at Bushnell Way Elementary in LA Unified School District. So one day I get this phone call and it's um, Mr. Martinez, uh, one of the field reps, and he proceeds to tell me that Speak Perez was a former student here and that he's involved in this project and supporting this project uh, called Starbase. I am so proud of the amazing work that you do to make Starbase such a success. We put the emphasis on science and technology engineering and math fields, fields that are vital for the future of our state. And for that reason, my colleagues and I are very proud that Starbase is up and running and that we were able to play a small part in providing the funding to expand this amazing program. I know that when all of the programs are up and running, they will contribute to building an even more stellar reputation for Starbase. And the success of the program is not only dependent on the effort of the Guard and the instructors, but it's dependent on the commitment that each student provides. And so we are so happy to have the fifth grade class from Bushnell Way Elementary here as we begin this wonderful work together. I don't know if you guys were part of it, but we were part of the ribbon ceremony. Oh, oh that, that, was, that, was, that was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, to be able to hold the ribbon was a privilege and I don't know why they chose me out of all my class, but I was excited about it. Being totally, you know, surprised at this opportunity, I, I began to tell him, well, you know, I have no money. <laughs> First of all, we have no budget left. It's the end of the year. And he said, don't worry, we will help you with that. I'm starting to feel like the more I ask <laughs> or the more I'm, information I'm giving him, at some point he's going to have to tell me, I'm sorry, but we can't do anymore. But that never happened. Every time I said that there was something that we needed or how can they help us in this way, there was always an answer. And that nothing was going to stop them from helping the kids at this school. When I was there, I never imagined that I'd end up serving the people of California, but having teachers and others at the school who invested so much and encouraged me made everything possible. We owe it to our students to make certain that they have all that is required to have the best start in life. Even though it doesn't look like you're learning, you're actually learning, and it's a once in a lifetime experience, and I, would, I wouldn't have wanna go on any other field trip but that one. So we got a wooden space shuttle, and then we had like 800 credits, and we had to buy materials to keep the egg safe when it came down from a string and it hit bricks. The egg permission. That was my favorite part too, and I liked how some of them cracked. And it, was like, yeah. it was so much fun. We had to try to do something to protect an egg, and most of them survived. Them. Yeah. Some yeah. Did. You know, the National Guard is unique amongst the components of the Department of Defense because we're a community based force. We are of the community, we live in the community, our armories and units are located in the community, we interact very closely with the communities that we reside in and that support us. Part of our mission then is to give back to those communities and one way that we do that is through our tremendous youth programs and this program in particular, the Starbase program. This project though, which is schools funded by the Department of Defense, this particular project though was able to be expanded and, and is what it is today because of the very generous support and leadership of our State Assembly Speaker, Mr. John Perez who through his vision enabled us to expand this program much more rapidly when we'd be able to. This opportunity that they had was something that our kids just jumped at the chance because, you know, again, science is usually taught out of a book or out of a kit that has limited resources. So this was going to give them a chance to actually go somewhere and experience science and uh, mathematics in a whole new way. It's fun doing experiments when you just like blow up stuff and stuff like that. That's what I like about science. It helps you in your future because it, um, it gives you a better understanding of the things you need to learn. 